Now, about a thousand criminal cases have been opened against Ukrainian soldiers for evasion of service, desertion and defections. In a recent case, over 60 Ukrainian troops crossed into Russia seeking refuge. Now, the losses of the Ukrainian army continued to grow. Official statistics from Kiev suggest over 700 soldiers have been killed and are over 2,000 wounded. But the government is accused of underreporting. Anti Kiev forces claim the army has lost more than 14,000 soldiers killed and wounded. Now, in Kiev, over 400 people have picketed the president's administration. They say the authorities have abandoned soldiers in the city of Ilyovyansk. Uh, troops there have been encircled by anti-government forces for five days now. And as Artis Paulus Lear reports, despair is growing both among the soldiers and their families. As the fighting intensifies and anti-government forces close in, a call for help goes unanswered. Reinforcements for trapped Ukrainian troops are slow in coming. It's not the first time Kiev soldiers feel abandoned. <laughs> It's a far cry from the tough talk of Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko talking of a strong country and strong army. Instead, it's young and often inexperienced soldiers, as suggested by an alleged conversation between a commander and a tank soldier leaked online. Frustration is growing among the troops. Their families. And the government. The head of the Interior Ministry is locking horns with the leader of the radical nationalist right sector group, which is taking part in the fighting in the country's east. If our demands are not met, we'll be forced to withdraw our battalions from the front line and launch a march onto Kiev to carry out speedy reforms in the interior ministry. Yarosh, with your bragging, you have deceived people whom you led into illegal armed units. You are turning the people who believed you into cannon fodder. Meanwhile, losses on the battlefield are mounting. And here in the center of Donetsk, the Ukrainian military defeat is on show. The message is more than just symbolic. A bad omen for the Ukrainian soldiers encircled by self-defense forces in the region of Donetsk, who are fighting not only for their lives, but for an army that they are accusing of betraying them and leaving them to die. Paulus Lea RT, Eastern Ukraine.